guess you can make it, Peter. Oh, no, no, don't be daft. How are you keeping? Oh, I'm not too bad. So, uh, how are you? Yeah, how are you feeling, Mum? Just hoping I can get through today, really. Step at a time. You've met our Lenny, haven't you? Yes, we met last summer. How are you, Peter? Ah, not too bad. Just sorry we have to meet under circumstances like this, Len. Oh, I know. It's knocked us back because this. Just when we thought she were getting better and all. Can I get your cup of tea or out? Oh, no, Mum. Sit down. I'll do that. No, I prefer to be doing some. It takes my mind off things. OK, then, yeah, I'll have a cuppa, please. Yeah, please. I'll go put kettle on. So, uh, how went traffic? Well, motorway weren't too bad. It's a bit packed around here, though. Oh, I I've got a stall on market, you know. Used to take me 20 minutes to drive in. 40 now it takes me sometimes. How was my mum really, Uncle Len? Oh, she's got a brave face on, but she's been cutting up rough. Really? It's good you're here. You are staying tonight, aren't you? If not longer. Yes, cos she's relying on you, Shelley. Do you want a biscuit around? Oh, no, no, I'm fine, thank you. No, thanks. We were just saying before you came, it's, what, five years and two months since we buried your dad. Yeah, it will be. Undertaker's been ever so good. Everyone has. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Becky came round. We'll be taking service. I'm not much for one for church, but you were marvellous. You need all the help you can get, don't you? At a time. Like this one. Oh, Mum. Sorry. Now, come through here, I'll you make that tea. This is how she's been. <sighs> well, it's understandable, isn't it? Be good that you're here as well. Oh, I've only met her a couple of times. Yes, but she has a high regard for you already. You're not rushing off afterwards, are you? No. Well, well, not straight away, no. Because you've a big part to play this afternoon, Peter. A big part. Traffic, Len. I thought we'd be back 20 minutes ago. It's just too many cars on the road. They're going to have to do so much about it. Do you think it's going to be like that on the way back? Oh, I expect so. I'll mean, give yourself another good half hour to get onto the motorway. What with them roadworks and all, you know. Um, my mum says you've got the keys, Lenny. Oh, sorry, love. When you've finished planning your getaway, there's a wake about to start in there, so if you could give a little bit more effort. Lovely service, Mum. Did you choose the reading? Oh, that poem was one of Sharon's favourites. Vicar out the other. Oh, I'm sure she'd love that one as well. I'd like to think so. You know, you're bearing up really well. This is easy, bit. It's when everyone's gone home and you're on your own. Well, I'm staying with you tonight. Brings it all back from when Jimmy died. I had Sharon here then, and it were bad enough. You'll be gone tomorrow. I can stay a bit longer. You can't stay forever, though, can you, love? What do I do then? Shall I? Can I have a word? Uh, just a minute, Mum. Thank you. Shell tells me you're staying here with her, which I appreciate as much as I know she does. Yeah, yeah, I, I did say that, Beth, yeah. Yeah, you can have a proper drink now. Shell, have you seen our being here? Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Thanks. Shell, look, I know I said I'd stop here, but the fact is, love, I can't. It's not possible. I have to go, and I have to go now. What you said? I know exactly what I said, and I'm sorry, OK? And I'll talk to you later, but now I have got to go. I'll tell you, Mum, I'm, I'm sorry. Peter! Don't go, please! I have to. I've just buried my sister and your other man are going to marry and I need you more today than I've ever needed you in my life. Love. He said he's going when, when he told me he wouldn't. I've got no choice. Why not? You did have ten minutes ago. I didn't. Just trying to keep you happy, Shell. That's not a bad reason. I'll tell you this. If you go now, I will never, ever forgive you. I will never, ever forgive you for this. Yeah, well, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Never mind. Thanks very much. Take Bye. care. Cheerio. See ya. Come on, Joker. Not many left. Then we'll be on his own, can put his feet up. 
Lenny, oh. go and put kettle on, will you, love? Uh, right away, love. Do you know what? What, love? I wish I hadn't said that stuff to Peter. What, when he went? Yeah, saying that I'd never forgive him. Of course I'll forgive him. I'll forgive him anything. And he wouldn't have gone if it wasn't a good reason. I don't suppose he would. Because I won't be able to rest until I've talked to him. I need to know he's not taking it to heart. So, go and ring him. I've tried, but he's turned his phone off. Then try again. And I guarantee when you do talk to him, you'll find he understands. It's been our day for all of us as this. But if I can't get through, do you mind if I go after him? Back to Weatherfield? Well, I'll get back as soon as I can. It's just I can't leave things like this, Mum. Of course you can't. No, I understand, lovey. Peter's what's important now. You go after him, of course you must. That's going to be the only thing that puts your mind to rest. I'll try ringing him again, though, first. I can drive, you know. Oh, them drinks you were having were ginger beer, were they? I didn't have all that many. Too many to drive my daughter. Now, if you want to be helpful, go and ring for a taxi to take her up to railway station. What, now? Of course now. When do you think? I bet you think I'm awful leaving you today of all days. Shall, love, I've got to face being on my own sooner or later. The important thing now is you make things right with oh, Peter. Peter. It's just I, I know I won't sleep if I don't. Uh, hang on a minute. Yes, you're talking to her mother. Shelley, phone for you. Oh. That was him, and we're OK. Well, I can see that from your face. So I'm not going. But I'm so glad I talked to him. I feel so much better. You love him a lot, don't you? Yeah, and he loves me as well. 